Igor Stravinsky never liked to talk about his childhood in Russia. His father was an opera singer with an uncontrollable temper, and his mother kept scolding him because he didn't write the type of music that she liked, and she kept scolding him even after he had become successful and famous. If that weren't enough, they insisted that he attend law school instead of studying music. Thankfully for music's sake, he ended up quitting law. Stravinsky was one of the few composers who had instant success. In 1910, he premiered a new ballet called The Firebird, and when it became an overnight success, Stravinsky did too. A few years later, another ballet was premiered called The Rite of Spring, and it caused a riot. But that's a whole other talk. So Stravinsky started out his career with this big splash, and eventually, over time, became less and less controversial. Stravinsky proposed to his childhood sweetheart, who just happened to be his first cousin, and when they wanted to get married, they had to lie to the priest and tell him that they weren't related. A few years later, Stravinsky went through this awful period. It was right before the onset of World War II. His wife, his mother, and his daughter all passed away. He already had had a lover at this point, and so he took her to Boston to get married. When they went to Boston, they had to lie to the priest there too, because his lover still hadn't divorced her first husband. Stravinsky would smoke cigarettes from a long albatross beak. He had a house full of birds and he loved to stand on his head. One of his trademarks was this tattered green beret which he wore all the time, sometimes even to bed. He had a large ego and he charged a lot of money for his music which he justified by saying, I do so on behalf of my brothers, Mozart and Schubert, who died in poverty.